So hello, today is um, May 21st and I promised I would have would do a new video on uh, Germany and paper towel because my other video didn't do so well um, staying up on YouTube. It got a little shaky so I'm going to do a new one. And here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a paper towel, Ziploc bag, scissors, and a marker. What you're going to do is you're going to take your paper towel and you're going to cut it in half. And then when you're done with that, you're going to take it and you're going to put it on a plate that you put some water on top to make them nice and moist. Now you want it to be uh, significantly wet because you're growing inside the uh, Ziploc bag. And then with your uh, marker, you're going to label your bags. Now as you can see, I'm going to be doing carrots and sweet corn. Now the reason why I'm germinating paper towel um, these things is because I kind of waited too late in, to plant it and I want um, to kind of speed up the process. Germinating the paper towel actually does do that. Now once you're finished doing it, you're going to make sure that you put it in a nice dry area with some sun, not too much sun because you don't want the paper towel to um, dry out. And you also want to make sure you don't get too much um, of a temperature change in whichever area you do put it in. Um, I kind of just leave mine in the kitchen and they actually do pretty well. Um, last year I did corn that I put at the wrong end that didn't have enough sun and all that stuff but this time um, I have a different place I'm going to put it. So what you're going to do, because I am one person, I'm going to take, now I'm doing three plants of the corn because I don't have enough space to do too many. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one and two and the napkin. You're going to fold up the napkin so that both sides of the corn a seed are covered like this and then I'm just folding it a little extra for transportation to my um, other to my uh, bag and I'm gonna put it on the bag and then I'll just put it inside of the bag when I'm done and then I'm gonna do two more because I want to make sure that I have uh, plenty because sometimes they don't grow um, in the germinating it's a seed is not good like if you see the seeds like really small so I'm going to go with the bigger one and then I'm going to cover it and I'm going to fold the paper towel for transport then carrot seeds are actually a lot smaller if you can see that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my paper towel and I'm just going to take the seeds and spread them along it. So when you start to see roots on it, you could actually plant it, the carrots, in the paper towel. The paper towel will disintegrate and it will compost in the soil. So, as you can see, I'm spreading out my carrot seeds. Spacing is not a big deal when you're germinating the carrots. And then you fold your napkin over. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do it the same that I did for my corn. I'm going to fold the edges so that I can transport it to my bag. And I'm going to do it one more time. Uh, we like carrots in my family, so that is the reason why I'm doing so many carrots. If I can just get this paper towel undone. It works to have two hands, obviously. Now I also want to mention that um, you want to wait till you get a nice good uh, root source before you go ahead and start transferring these. 
you want uh, a decent sized uh, plant. Go ahead and spread these out. Um, you want to wait till you get some leaves on the corn. You want to wait till you get some leaves on this with a nice good root system before you transfer it. You also want to keep in mind that um, you got to watch temperature. So the best time to transfer, I believe, is in the morning. So it might require you to wake up earlier if you're a late sleeper. So that you can transfer them in um, similar weather to what you have inside your home. Now if you do have an AC on in your home, you would need to temper your, um, your germinated seeds to outside because you're obviously cold inside, hot outside. You don't want it to have a temperature shock when you move it outside. But for me, I don't have to worry about that because I don't have an AC. So what I'll do is I will put it in the bag as is, then I will open it up in the bag. It actually makes it so much easier. I will close it up and then I'll hang it in a nice um, semi-sold area. Um, sun, sorry, a little Spanglish. Uh, semi-sun area, dry, and I'm going to keep an eye on it um, because you don't want it to grow any mold uh, or spores on your leaves. Sometimes it will if you have too much humidity. Here in New England, we do have quite a bit of humidity, so I do keep a very close eye on this. Um, I am going to do another video and show you the progress that's going on outside.